とりは賢く」「ひとりは強く」「ひとりは素早い」「Hello everybody! It's me and I'm joined by Cassie.Say hi Cassie.God damn it, Cassie! <笑> Uh, I, want, I want to see how many people think that you're in sin. That's all. Of course you do.、Uh, so, I am playing Dragon Age Origins. I have played it a little bit before, but I never beat it. Because <laughs> he's a pansy. Basically, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Dragon Age Origins. So, yeah, on、uh, the Gaming Idiots Tumblr, for anybody who read that, I said I was going to play all of the Origins.、Awesome. And I was not lying. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in the hell. Marvel's perfected for the fleeting view of brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of t h e r a g e s Oh, okay. Random quote. Thanks. No problem. The Chantry teaches us. But it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. Huh. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters. The first of the darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless.、Oh. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads. The you dark spawn you just drove said that at us again and again you know until finally we neared annihilation. Actually, that's the first time I understood that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a shale. Shh. Spoiling God. Until. The Grey Wardens came. I wonder who Men they and are. women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. I actually do not remember this opening. It may、really? even be too late. For I have seen、yeah. with my own eyes. What well, maybe lies you skipped it like a little bit. Maybe I did. <laughs> Maker, help us all. Skipping openings to a game is like treason. He just said, God help us all, one of the most cliche lines. He just changed it to Maker. <sighs> The background you select will determine which of six distinct opening stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. No, it doesn't. That's a lie. Yep. What origin are you going to go for first, Will? I am going to play the dwarf noble origin first because I will not play as a dwarf. 
You know what you should do then? What? You should make it a female dwarf then for me. Oh hey, there's dwarf commoner and there's dwarf noble. There's two. Yeah, dwarves. There's, there's always been two dwarves. I forgot about that. Okay, God. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay, jeez. okay so I'll, touchy. I'll do one as a male dwarf and one as a female dwarf. Okay. Which one should be which? Born castles in a land where rank is everything bound as a lackey and thug of local crime lord. You have spent your life invisible until chance thrusts you into the spotlight, where you can finally prove whether you will be defined by your actions or your birth. As the favored child of the Dwarven King, you proudly take up your first military command, only to learn that the, the, the intrigues of family and psycho fans may pose a greater danger than even the battlefields. Okay, sorry. Gosh, I'm no. going to do the male dwarf commoner, and then the female can be the noble. Okay. For anyone wondering, I usually play female dwarf noble, so... Ah. Greetings. Oh, there we go. I'm not gonna bother with your face. <laughs> I really am not. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh... Lots Actually, of strength. it's good that you're doing the commoner first. Lots of strength. Because... <laughs> I am a dwarf guy, and all I want to do is get through the, <laughs> the origin. Uh, it's you are the worst. It's kind of funny when you you're not really worried about the the that. There, I'll get. Everyone's it. just sitting at their computer, just yelling at you because you're being so stupid. Always. Uh, Even though I... you're not going to keep this character. Yeah. What should I do for this guy? Strength. That's dexterity. Dexterity. Huh. Oh, this involves strength, so I guess I'll do weapon and shield or something, or... A rogue. I could just do warrior stuff. Training in a warrior again. Hmm. This. And... I could do two-handed, or I could do... Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> he is baffled by the amount of choices. Too many choices. Activated, activated. Hmm. <sighs> the character attempts to hinder the target ability to fight back. Let's target. Hmm. Huh. Character puts extra weight and effort, gaining a bonus to attack. If it hits the blow, deals critical damage. Huh. I will do Pama Strike. There. I will play on normal, even though I am a pansy, so I will die like a bitch. Several times. Even though this is the opening. Yep! Unless I get really goddamn lucky. <laughs> Deep beneath the Or maybe you're just really talented. It's Ozumar. Largest and proudest of the two remaining dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. Well, that's depressing. I can't keep gambling on you forever, precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. Can we not do this in front of my brother? Why not? He knows the slope of the land, don't you, boy? Whenever it takes to get a... Didn't I tell you not to talk that way? We owe you everything, Barat. We won. Don't talk to my sister like that, you bastard. You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold calf teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. 
All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the Diamond Quarter. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. I don't like seeing him treat you that way. I'll treat her however Such I like, as long as brother. you both eat off my plate. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you Plus. both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. Hey, what are you doing here? And our son will call you uncle and come visit on names. We've kept our part of the deal. Be a little shit. Uh, what are you doing here? Checking on the investments. And right now, they don't bear much gold. I'm giving you another week, Precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. So get off her back and tell me my job for today. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. Yeah, fuck you too. I'm sorry you had to see that. Such a pleasant fellow. You don't have to hide anything. I know. You've always been a good brother. Always tried to protect me. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. Do it. Just wish we didn't have to kiss up to that cave tick. You know the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. <sighs> Barat expects too much from you. You know how desperate the nobles are for more children? They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could... give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. <sighs> Isn't the work I do for him enough? It's hard to keep him from throwing us out. I can only imagine the horrible things he's made you do. But there are a lot of desperate dwarves in Orzammar. He could buy any one of them to run messages and knock skulls. <sighs> it's not fair. Money gives him power. He's got family on the surface, which means he can smuggle up lyrium and smithcrafts, and bring down silks, wines, and furs. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection, so the guardsmen didn't care. Can he really follow through on his threats? What? Don't underestimate him. Barat has thugs who'd kill their own mothers just to work for him. I don't know why I can't join the army and it's fight Darkspawn. It's sheer Darkspawn. folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as well. And haven't they almost overrun the current Every troops? Year, more of the beasts come up from the deep roads. 
I've heard they've even been harrying the surface. Is anyone doing anything about it? Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. There's been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting, and Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. Money gives him power. Oops. He's got family on the surface. Oops. Which means he can smuggle what up Ethereum and Smithcraft. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it would... I hope there's more you want in life than to be some copper... Pl Dream big. Be a paragon. Don't stop at becoming another Barat. It wouldn't be the first time. Geralt on the Blood Risen was born castless, you know, before he went to the surface. And he came back and won the throne. Many paragons have humble origins. All that matters is that the assembly recognizes their achievements. Hmm. And once they get that vote, they found their own house, and are as noble as if the ancestors themselves had made it so. That would certainly surprise Mother. Oh, don't pay attention to her. She's just a bitter old drunk. She also said you'd never learn to walk or stop dumping in the bed. Make something of yourself just to spite her. <laughs> Maybe I will at that. Maybe you will. But until then, we can only serve as Barat demands. And he won't like it if either of us is late. You're right. See Stay ya. out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. <sighs> but careful. The game can be played from use mouse wheel to bring your... Oh. Well, Dude, who plays it like that? You can issue orders to your character. Right click on your desired destination. Um. Okay. Oh, WASD to explore. Okay. What is that? I shall do it. Oh, that's what. Oh, that's are you, that. Okay. Are you actually going to do it, or are you just. Hello? Hello? There we go. Uh. Take him! <laughs> Dear, that's stealing. Jerk. Oh. I. What? What? What do you want? Fine. Is that? Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? <laughs> ah! Fine. I'm removing it. Are you happy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> eh. <laughs> ah. Eh. There. Because that seems a little better. Armor 9. That was armor 3. Yeah, this one's better. Yeah. Only by a number. <laughs> I already talked to you. I don't I'll do it again. But I don't think she'll have anything else to say. I'll do it again. Like a good big brother. Or little okay, brother. Okay, fine. Gosh. What is it? I'm kind of in a hurry. What else should I know? Have you had much? Uh, huh. Have you heard anything else? The soldiers who guard the deep roads bring mixed tales. Attacks on Orzammar have died down, but the breeding sites are bigger than ever. The Shapers say it follows a historical pattern. When the Darkspawn pull back, it's usually to mount an assault on the surface. Uh, never seen them. What do they look like? A dwarf who was chewed and swallowed by some great beast and spat into a pool of acid. I saw the corpse of one Prince Tree and Slew, and I couldn't sleep for days. How far did the, the deep roads extend? They once covered the entire empire, but it's been a long time since they were anything but a buffer zone against the dark spawn. Hmm. Let's talk about something. Whatever you like, as long as we finish in the time it takes me to fasten this sleeve. Well, there are enough of us now that they have a name for us. They call us noble hunters. It's not like we're stalking them for food. If they didn't want what we're offering, believe me, there'd be nobody doing it. <sighs> After they tell everyone the ancestors cursed us because we're castless, no noble wants that set of his son's mother. If I give birth to a noble son, I'd become his concubine, an official member of his house as long as the child lives. 
My family comes with me to ensure I keep no ties to Dust Town. Hmm. <laughs> Ick, that's enough about you and getting pregnant. If you want to talk about something less icky, <laughs> you'll have to think of it yourself. <laughs> what else should I know well, about Barat? Well, you've seen more of his bad side than I have. Barat likes to call himself a provider. He says he has the contacts to get almost everything into or out of Orzammar. If he's so... Uh, huh. If he's so successful, it's a big why risk. is he? Gambling that a girl will get pregnant with a son. But it's the only way into the nobility. The only thing an Orzammar Barat wants is the one thing he can't buy. And the guardsmen let him get away. He's been careful. He arms his men with castoffs. Nothing that would insult the warrior caste. And he feeds the guardsmen's vices. Gambling, women, fresh figs from the surface. Whatever they want. <sighs> I should get going. Off with you then. Lesky's probably waiting I outside. Go. I should go. Hi. H hi. Uh, who's that? Why are you bothering me? Rika? Don't you talk to me like I'm an idiot. You think I don't know my own kid? What are you doing here anyway? Rika said you were finally making something useful of yourself. You tell me. Just what do I got that's worth living for? I know you both hate me. I, I know what I done to you. But it was for your own good. The world's a cruel place. You, you had to learn that. You think you'd be where you are now if I'd let you hide from a few slaps? Everything you are, I made you. I tried my best. They treat us like dust, tell us we're cursed. How else are we supposed to live? We got nothing. There's no way out for any of us. You can try, but you'll never get it off you. Dust Town, it sticks to the skin. You don't bleed red enough for them, and nothing's gonna change that. All you can do is find some way to forget. Well, that was a pleasant conversation. Indeed.